Easiest one to start with. Just shave it all off, saves a lot of products. I, I usually would get a haircut before this point, but I was about to get a haircut and then uh, quarantine happened. So I don't know if I'm ever gonna. Legend of the game, monetize and climb and two restoration detonations. 10% of strength on my unit, so we could do an imp deck here. Rage does not decay on friendly units. I mean, that on top of these fledgling imps is already pretty good. Rats, what are the colorless cards? The colorless cards are... Well, none of these, but the colorless cards oftentimes are the cards you get from events. Angary imps? Yeah, it's got to be Angary imps. Do a train steward build? <sighs> Is Train Steward a build? I don't think Train Steward is really a build. Like, yes, if it's ever going to be a build, starting with Advanced Prototype is the way to do it. And they would, like, them plus the, the Fledgling Imps would be good. But, like, this is Rage Doesn't Decay, and we have two friendly Imps. So where's the whiskey? Uh, downstairs. And I don't have much whiskey left. I have scotch instead. I know, Scotch whiskey, but differentiation matters to me because I like whiskey more than Scotch. Or rather, don't like Scotch as much as I like Irish whiskey. Um, Alright. It's got to be the collection of tales. It's, it's too good of a setup, especially considering we could get... Damn it, we didn't get it? Really? That's annoying. Uh, we'll be able to get the slays off on the Hornbreaker at least. I feel like the advanced prototype is so strong to start with when you go uh, if you're going for score. We're a while away from me starting to go for score though. How do you manage the burning sensation in your throat when you have whiskey? Uh I mean you can take smaller sips, but also you just kind of get used to it over time. And it just becomes part of the drinking experience. Well, Rapsy, I hope you're happy. I watched I binged the entire series of Monster Train on YouTube series uh, the whole series. I am! He's <laughs> exceedingly happy about that. I'm glad that I'm getting people to have a look at this game. Extremely, extremely pleased about it. Um, so, 7, 11. So, what, you're going to kill the first one, I'll kill the second one. Yeah, okay, so. Um, I need to torch down a backliner here. I've been stuck to the episode that was two hours ago. Perfect. You can catch me live. Uh, I've got to kill the collector. I'm obliged. Not really much else I get to do here, though. All right. I'm thinking maybe double train steward on the bottom line here. Yeah. I mean, I could ascend the clergyman in the back line in order to keep my score. But then next round, I'll lose the... Yeah, next round, I'll still lose a unit. Unless I draw another Tyson Climb. Yeah, you know what? Let's try and do this perfectly. How about that? Sack that train cell. Don't need it. Yeah, make whiskey sour. That's, that's a good way to enjoy whiskey without the burn. Does anyone know what debuff Seraph will give? It's tempering the strength of my units. Negative 5 to attack, negative 5 to health. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to kill that clergyman before it gets on the top line. Yeah, well. Oh, my God. Those are really annoying also. Mm. This could actually end up being a problem. I mean, I get a unit banner out of it, so it's definitely worth, even if I take some damage. If you want something that's uh, really good but not that expensive, Basil Hayden's is my favorite. Granted, I'm far too cheap for to buy the really expensive stuff that's nice to sip on. Uh, I've never even seen Basil Hayden's around. Maybe it's just not in my location? Possible. I'm going to ascend one of these. Just to split them up. Tyson climbed the boss? Uh, how is that different to what I did? Other than just giving me another turn to get a fledgling in down. 
I don't see the difference there. Lost his days? Oh, yeah, would have spent two tens days. Yeah, 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 okay. Fair enough, fair enough. Cheapest scotch I care for is probably the Pra. I don't know how to pronounce that yet, uh, which I'm told is weapons grade. I still have not had... Uh, have I? Actually, Kaze might have given me some at some point. I... Oh my god, all imps? Another fledgling imp, thank you. Don't need any of these. None of those say imp on them. Steelworker is a frontliner to, def uh, to protect my slayer. Do they have bourbon in Australia? Yes. Yes, we do. Is Maker's Mark technically bourbon? If Maker's Mark is technically bourbon, then... Uh, Lefroig? Ah, okay. Perfect. Go for a Consumer of Crowns. Yeah, we'll go for that, and then we'll probably forge a spell, because I don't have minions I really want to forge, other than giving them Endless. Like, only Endless is a good buff to give them right now. Horned Warrior is another good backliner. But there's an Alpha Friend there. Let's do an imp deck with a no support card or relic given. Exactly, Sishin Bang, exactly. I'm glad you're on board. If I didn't have the Slayer, I might take the Haunt Warrior here. I don't know, maybe I want the Haunt Warrior anyway. I'll take the Haunt Warrior anyway. I can't take the Alpha Friend right now because if I have an Alpha Friend and I have a Train Steward, that's my full five pips, so I can't put anything in the middle. They don't say Imp. Uh, there's an I here. If you turn that M, uh, if you turn that W upside down, that's an M, and if you turn the D upside down, that's a P. So, it does. You have to really look for it, but it does say Imp. And it's built the game Permafrost. Permafrost and reduce its cost. Yeah. Permafrost and reduce the cost of Tyson Climb. Okay. Enemies enter with spikes too. Is that okay? It's kind of okay? It's not good with the Horned Warrior and the Hornbreaker, but they're only each throwing out single attack in each round, and they can be restored. Steelworker is completely fine with. It's only 50 coins, though, but I am very, very light on coins, so if I want to be able to do anything in the next shops, yeah, it should be fine. Upside down, reverse imp, mind blown. I told you it was there. So I'm looking for what? Steelworker, Hornbreaker on this floor. Horned Warrior in the back line of this floor and then wait. Hopefully I get a uh, torch next time. I got a torch. Actually, as it turns out, I wanted two torches. Because I really got to kill that collector. I need the money. I got to kill the collector. One train steward up in the top line, and then basically sack on the bottom. Now I need a heal as well as some torches this turn. Torch. Torch. Mmm, don't like this. Don't like this one bit. I can put a Fledgling Imp down here, then the Steel Worker will deal 11, the Fledgling Imp will deal 7, so they'll kill the Disciple Protector before the Hornbreaker even gets involved. See, so you really don't need to be that negative. Just saying. <laughs> like, every message. Alright. Got that there. I can put a Fledgling Imp on the top line. And I put the Fledgling Imp in the second line, it's gonna be better. Protect itself for the damage. Okay. 
Ties him, your horn breaker, so it doesn't attack. I mean... I could... Let's think about how it's going to be when they get into the next line, right? If this goes up... It'll attack for six. It'll attack for six. I'll respond two times, right? So... The two responses, it attacks for six. Is that really going to be a problem? Actually, I can even daze it for a while. The only thing is the, the Hornbreak Prince can only get maximum, like, two attacks off. Which isn't that bad. Fine. 133. Pretty good. And then... One heal, and we kill. So, not only was it not a problem, we took no damage. Rage Serum? I mean, we already have a collection of tails. But Ritual of Battle is also really good. <laughs> the game stuff? Is this one of those boy gamers I hear about? Exactly. I'm, I'm sorry, I am a fake boy gamer. I, I've never played games in my entire life. How the player gets to 59? In the first uh, first floor, we let one get past. Um, basically, just because we gave them the six armor each. So we took one damage in order to draft an early unit, because that was a unit banner. You really don't like Ritual of Battle? I think it's overcosted. Um... I mean, I agree, but we can kind of upgrade it. Like, we can remove its cost. We could double stack it. It's one of the best things to double stack. So, if we get Ritual of Battle, then, like, the, the spell hits that are really good for us are double stack and reduce cost. Which makes going to a, a spell shop much more viable. I don't need any of these. But Glimmer also does give us the ability to actually target out a floor, which is useful. I'll take a Glimmer, I think, here. Yeah. Rage Serum with Remove Consumes and Holdover is better. It can be. But Removing Consume and Holdover has to be two different spell shops, and it's the rarest thing in each of those spell shops. You can't just build around the idea of, like, a hypothetical best-case scenario. How's Rhapsody this day? Uh, I've been awake for about 47 minutes, so... <laughs> I haven't had time to be today. How are you, Riddell? Is there a spellstone that makes spells draw a card? No. I can totally see that being one, though. I can dupe another Tyson Climb here. I kind of feel like it as well, actually. But uh, if, if this was not Pyromains, I would go on that side. But it is Pyromains. You have a birthday? Happy birthday, Riddell. Let's uh, I'm gonna just drop a wrap. So five. Yay. Birthday. Silly, happy birthday. I hope you have a good day today. Alright. Multi-strike on the Horned Warrior is ridiculous. There. Look at this first. Have you gotten uh have you ever gotten the relic allowing you to have a train steward run? I have, but you're not on camera. Or at least not in a way on camera that I could utilize. I think it's petty theft here. Ending the game with Gift of Gratitude in your deck is such a flex, but you do need to do so, so you can actually make it golden. But, petty theft. This early in the game, we'll get a lot of money out of that. Units cost negative one or spikes. My units aren't expensive at all, and also we're not putting spikes in this deck, so I'm gonna skip. I actually prefer the money there. Hand of Greed? Yeah, pretty much. 
extremely, extremely useful in this game. Like, hi, remember me? Did you miss me? Yeah, you were here yesterday. You're, um, Bosnian, I think. So those were classless cards? Yes, the, the event cards are often classless cards. Don't have a lick of class about them. What did you think of Exit the Gungeon? I thought it was okay. I don't think it's like incredible, but eh. it's, 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 it's fun. It's, it's not as deep as Enter the Gungeon, but you know, it, it never was going to be. It's a fun spin-off. What does Frozen and Permafrost do? So Permafrost will mean that the card is always frozen and Frozen is effectively retain it in your hand at the end of the turn if you don't play it. I don't need to play the Train Steward and just be sacrificed here. Penny Death seems so much better to me than the other two. Okay, um, yes, but. Yes, but it. Oh god, this is gonna be annoying. I gotta destroy that. Yeah, gotta keep my seal worker alive. One sec. So uh, yes, but if you have like a build that has like uh, the X costs gain plus three anytime you play them, or you have a build that has a ridiculous amount of energy, like you've got a bunch of pyre chompers in the deck and a transcend imp or something like that. Then the Heaven's Gold, the one that's 50x gold, you can get a ridiculous result. Yesterday off camera, I got 1,250 gold from it. That's pretty good. That's way better than you'll ever get over the course of a run with the with the Petty Theft. And then also, if you have like a Pyre build, like your Pyre is doing a bunch of damage and enemies are getting past you, but they're getting dazed before they actually even go to the Pyre, then... The other one that gives you plus one damage to your pyre every time you have 10 extra gold is also really, really good. They can be actually quite useful. Speedy Claws, thank you very much for the Twitch Prime subscription. Enjoy remotes and chat and welcome to the Republic as well as, oh my God, I've missed a few people, sorry. Uh, CFOLPS06, thank you very much for the tier one subscription. Enjoy remotes and chat and welcome to the Republic as well as Amiga Phoenix number one. Thank you for the Twitch Prime subscription. Enjoy remotes and chat and welcome to the Republic. Sorry about that. I forgot how to be a streamer for a while. Glimmer this floor as a way to heal as well. Do you know where Bosnia is on a world map? Probably not. I I would probably just look in Eastern Europe until I found out. Uh, like, you know, kind of like a Hungary, Serbia kind of area. I just like look around there until I found something said Bosnia and point to it. That, to be fair, not being able to find something on the world map for me is, is the normal. I, I cannot at all. I'm bad at my geo. Graffiti in particular. Actually, if I become a patron, does my name change in Discord have to change? The Twitch is nice color. Uh, it doesn't have to. Um, the only thing is, hmm. Cause, so Discord does set up a hierarchy of, uh, of, of different uh, things, which is why like your name changes when you go from like, you know, unverified to verified, which is higher rank and then the Twitch subscriber and patron subscriber, and then you know, content creator, moderator, etc. They by base have a uh, have a hierarchy set up between them, but unfortunately, the hierarchy is set that is set so that the patron role supersedes the Twitch role, but also has access to the patron chat room. So I could probably work around that by removing the patron role but just giving you access to the chat room but yeah discord makes that hard to work around in general imagine if you got the 50 gold and purge becomes consumer event artifact yeah i've been thinking about that a lot cocktail since uh yesterday i had a run where i got the purge makes them that if i gotta be green it's okay i don't want to make you work too hard it, it's not too hard definitely not too hard and the absolute least i can do on your birthday um, I mean, Fledgling Imp buff there does nothing. Let me theft that for some gold. Triggers on any kill. So you can farm gold killing your own imps with it. Yeah, but it can only target enemies. Deal two damage to an enemy unit. Uh, 
Uh, Respiration detonation here, I think. Actually, pop the fledgling down there. That should be fine. And another one down here. And I'll just let that train steward get sacked. If you in the back and it'll kill the healer and set you up with the boss fed up, it's fine if the healer doesn't get killed. The healer does nothing. So the healer will go to the top floor. It'll deal zero... I mean, if it survived this, which it won't. It'll go to the top floor. It'll take zero damage. Uh, it'll deal zero damage rather to the last pyre and then it'll die. Attack, attack back, attack back, fine. I'll torch my own unit here to guarantee that the Hornbreaker gets another slay off. And heal. It's restoration detonation here because it's a lot of damage. Then go with a glimmer. Turns out rage caps at nine to nine. Yeah, I've uh, I've discovered that. It's good fun to get it to that. No, excuse me. My apologies for the rudeness. Get him! Oh, the business. You think you can cap out at six six six? Oh, is that going to be enough though? You need the extra. Uh, 333, 666 damage on top of that, actually. Mm. Extra energy isn't really that necessary. The most expensive cards in our deck, the Restoration Detonations, are garbage for us. Obviously, there's also the Ritual of Battle, but the Ritual of Battle is singular. So basically, the aim is don't slay the Pyre. It's, it's more defend the Pyre. Probably draw. Capacity is good for extra imps, which can help block extra attacks, but I don't have more imp generation than just these fledgling imps at the moment. Like, I don't have to build heavily into imps right now just because I have a rage build instead, right? So I think it's this. Draw. At some point, you should do a regen build. I have done multiple regen builds, Dark Assaults. It's either Alloy of the Ancients or Impressive here. Impressive doesn't have that many imps to feed off of at the moment. So I'm thinking about the Alloy of the Ancients just to help set up our frontliner Steelworker with a lot more defense so that they are much more protective of this Hornbreaker. Demon Friend, Awoken Hollow, Husk Hermit. Husk Hermit's not bad. What does LGBTQIA mean? Uh, lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender. The next one is considered by some people possibly a slur, and it stands for two different things. Uh, queer or questioning, and then intersex, and then asexual, and then plus is all the things that are not covered beforehand. I am not all of those things. I am one of them. <laughs> uh, but it is the overarching term for the group. I don't need those. Do you think they'll ever make another game or mode where you're on the opposing side attacking the train, says Amiga Phoenix? Uh, no. I don't think so. I don't really think those are... Like... Once, once they're done making this game, maybe. Is it possible to be all of those things? I don't... Man, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm not that person's boss. I'm, not, I'm no one's boss. Mm, fine. Sorry, what does it mean in chat? Uh, it's it's a tag for the stream, which 
means that this place is a safe space for people in and amongst that group and also it can refer to the streamer themselves being part of that group in this case it's both did you know if uh do you know if you can move a boss to an already frozen floor no you can't move anything to a frozen floor Okay, hold over and negative cost. Hold over and negative cost both on the ritual of battle is ridiculous. So every turn for two energy, we give five rage, which is 10 extra attack to a unit. Good. Then I'm going to take the chaotic power stone for either glimmer or petty thefts. Petty thefts, it increases the range it can kill at. Glimmer, it does a lot of damage in AoE. I think I'll take the glimmer, actually. And then remove both restoration detonations. Neither of those are good in the deck, and they're just chunking it up, doing nothing. Energy seems pretty great now. Yeah, maybe be, be fine. I'll probably end up taking energy after the next boss. I'm sorry, maybe personal, but you believe in life because of that? I am extremely, extremely privileged in that I was not. Uh, I uh, was very straight passing for all of my life. So it's, it's not something that I've, I've necessarily been victimized as a result of. I also, like, I just wasn't really social enough to be <laughs> in situations like that at all. I kind of kept to myself, which kind of also was an effect there. Uh, Seven Raging Dragon 7, thank you very much for the, uh, the TM1 subscription. Enjoy modes and chat and welcome to the Republic. Did you ever think you were straight raps? Uh, I just never really thought about it. And then there was one time in high school when I was like, huh. Well, I guess I'm probably bi at least. That's pretty much how my whole journey went. <laughs> Any plans for the channel logo during the upcoming Pride Month? Um, I don't know. Maybe. In my town, there were four gay guys and they were killed. Yeah, there are definitely tragic parts of the world and obviously my experience is not universal which is why I take great pains to point out that I understand the privilege in the experience that I've had <laughs> I thought I was straight for way too long it's embarrassing but figured it out now nice catch on Twitch nice to be caught on Twitch 7 I'm gonna say Raven Dragon actually Rainbow R again? It's already Rainbow R. It's, uh, is it not the Rainbow R on Twitch? Because I wasn't doing much Twitch work at that time last year, I guess. Hmm. Guess I didn't change it here. Like to see the logo inverted. White R and Rainbow Circle. That's something I could totally do. What is this game about? This game is a deck building roguelike where you defend the last shard of hell on multiple vertical layered battlefields. And the way the combat works is effectively you set up your units, the enemies set up their units, you buff your units and stuff like that, and then they auto battle at the end of the round. You get a rainbow off for subs. I, I can look into it. I can definitely look into it. I make no necessary promises, but I will definitely take the time to look into it. The only Tio, thank you very much for the uh, subscription. Enjoy your modes and chat and welcome to Republic. Hey, old Tigo. Good to see you. Um, let me torch that one. Prime month this year is going to be a disappointing one. Yeah. Yeah, this, this whole year is going to have a whole load of events that just... Dang it. Uh, holy and thoroughly interrupted. Most of you call me raging? I mean... What would you prefer to be called, Raging Dragon? Because that helps too. They cancelled Pride in Toronto. Yeah, they're probably going to do that with the... Uh, well, actually, no, we had our Mardi Gras maybe like the week before... Uh, three weeks before lockdown started. So our kind of like Pride month-ish analog uh, had actually already occurred for this year. But obviously, that's not the universal experience for everyone else in the world. Ritual of the battle is fine. 
use that unit. Should have put a train steward out on the top line. Top line there. You're saving four HP. Do you play anything else other than roguelikes? Yes. Yes, Galaxy Wolf. Uh, I play a lot of things that aren't roguelikes. <laughs> Don't like this. 35 is two rounds of attacks, two, three. So if I ascend one of you, I get an extra hit out in my Hornbreaker. Currently it's three, so this'll be like what? 10, 10 by three, 30 extra damage if I put the Ritual of Battle on Backliner. Still not a ridiculous amount. It rest plays rogue lights too, exactly. I play FPSs, RPGs, many RPGs in fact in my own time. Guess why the band was called Fur Trappers? The band I was playing with was in the Oh No, I can't guess, actually. Damn time for the lie on that. What part of LGBTQIA are you? Uh, I am bisexual or pansexual. Uh, depends on the definition the other person is working with, as to which, I'm, uh, which I will say. As an entire series on Outer Worlds, yep, and the current running series on Disco Elysium, and I've done Fallouts 1 and 2, and uh, obviously I like did all of the Dark Souls on the channels, they are effectively like a kind of like RPG. Spike of the Hellhorn is pretty good. Because we don't lose any armor, uh, the rage from it. You've taken a step at one look from me. Yes. I, yes. Every time I'm asked, yes. I have had a look at it. I, I don't think it's something that I want to do anything with, but other people like it. Spy Party is technically an FBS. Yeah, exactly. I mean, social seduct uh, social seduction, Ooh, social deduction games. Excuse me. Play those as well. Engrafts, eh, don't need it. Perhaps enjoying the whole buffet? Exactly. Why choose? I know, it's not a choice, blah, 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 blah. I'm using that as a colloquial thing. <laughs> Freudian slip? Yeah, no, I play a lot of social seduction games. Are there seduction games? <laughs> Did it hear it his end? Yeah. I'm, I'm assuming that's a joke, asking that, Brian, because I'm... The, another one of the questions that I answer constantly. Uh, dupe a card? Yeah, you know, I don't really want to dupe another Ritual of Battle yet. I could dupe a Petty Theft. We're very early on, like, we have a bunch more flaws. I mean, Honey Pop is a seduction game? Yeah, okay, so, Honey Pop. That's a social seduction game. It's my biggest, favoritest thing. Definitely didn't mean social deduction games. Like, Werewolf. And board games, in general, like, board games. All the relics, yeah, so much power we can get out of here. Fine. Like a Rhapsody, tomorrow's stream is the KFD da uh, KFC dating sim. No, tomorrow uh, I'm recording with Rito, so I'm not streaming. This all sucks. Just got here, what kind of deck are you playing? So we have the collection of tales from Rage Not Decaying on Friendly Units. Three fledgling imps, a uh, petty theft, an upgraded glimmer, an upgrade, excuse me, ritual battle, uh, mega upgraded tiresome climb. The idea is effectively kind of like a rage build, but it's not doing well. Plus four stacks of armor each time it's applied. Yes, plus two on kill is really good. But plus four stacks of armor each time it's applied means the steel worker basically resolves for twice as much. It's 
too good. Awesome because I need to go. Hey, catch around, Murphy. All worked out in the end, thankfully. And now we'll go for the multi striker in the Hornbreaker Prince. Beautiful. Multi strike on a rage build is huge. Can't wait for the reroll option. It'll be necessary. Not necessary, but it'll be useful. Oh, it might be necessary. I don't know. I'm enjoying it at the moment. You need important work or implosion so you can cycle those imps. Do I? Do I though? Sure do love those steel workers. I mean, they work well. I, I like them a lot. And I, you know, I've always been open about the fact that I want to unite with the workers of the world. Where did you meet your boyfriends? <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's, that is a long story, Queen Slayer. Like, very long of a story. Um, what's the TLDR version? Okay, I can only really give like the, the super TLDR version. Cause like, it's super long. Uh, we, were post we were both posting on the same forum. Um, which parts to cut out? We were both posting on the same forum at the time. And then he used that information to get my Facebook. Uh, and then from that, he created a fake Facebook account uh, and added me called uh, Bunny Rabbitsley. And I thought it was the funniest thing in the world. So I added the obviously fake account and then Photoshopped to my current uh, profile picture at the time, uh, a bunny on my shoulder, exactly the bunny actually that he had in his profile image. And it was actually, it looked quite good as well, by the way, the, like, the shadows, uh, good work on it. Anyway, um, from then having had me accepted, he had my uh, phone number and then on my birthday, the year both of us were going to do like graduating high school exams, like we call them the HSCs. Uh, the year we were going to do that, he, uh, on my birthday, he sent me a message from a secret admirer. And I was like, okay, this is the most interesting thing that's ever happened in my life. I'm gonna pursue this information, and try and figure out who you are. So uh, effectively what happened is he stalked me and then I uh, gradually over the course of the, uh, the conversation where he wished me luck, uh, wished me a happy birthday rather, I, I gradually just pieced piece and piece of information out of him until I stalked him back. And then I created an account called Sir Cattington uh, and added his real Facebook account with my fake account just to be like, a, hey, I got you by the way. That's how we met. How old am I? Uh, 26 years old. Uh, I can't afford to give these armor. They're too good. They're too good. Can you go, <laughs> call your boyfriend to let us see him? He is very asleep. <laughs> Extremely asleep. I don't know if he could be more asleep at this point in time. Fifty and five. Frontliner's going down. So what? I like train steward, horned warrior on this. Train steward. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. We're setting these up on the bottom floor because we'll start setting up the slaves on the hornbreaker. So with this story, I don't understand why you're not there at spy party. I will have you know, I am the sixth person ever in spy party to get eight in the daily challenge and then eight in the bonus challenge afterwards. Zay. Sixth person ever. And yes, I may be a little too proud of that, but... You're gonna stream for three more hours, right? Maybe in that time you wake up? Possibly. He's like a, he's, he's like a full person. He's not someone I can just like bring on as a prop. You're gonna stream for three more hours, right? Yeah. Okay, put him at the bottom line. I don't get to use my petty theft this floor, but... It's way better. Has he ever been on stream? Uh, yeah. One of the one of the clips on this stream is is him coming to say goodbye to me before he goes to do a show, and uh, I had my headphones on, so I couldn't hear him come in, and I was scared. It's just one of the clips of this channel. I like it. It's like a nice little. It's a nice moment, you know. Mm. 
I don't really need to do much here. Just pop out the fledgling imp here to save my hornbreaker. Gonna train steward on the top line. I think it's probably time to get like my fledgling imps down on every line, pretty much. Hey, Rito, thank you very much for the raid. At the end of Hyper Parasite go. Veracity's Australian? Yep. Born and raised. Also, uh, Kalisa Dawn, thank you very much for the uh, Twitch Prime subscription. Enjoy most of the chat and welcome to the public. How's it going, Rito Raiders? Thank you very much for the exclamation mark Rito in chat. That is where you can find Rito, the person who just raided us. The wonderful Rito of Retromation can be found on YouTube at those links and Twitch at those links. That'll do it. Ooh. Where's that clip? I I don't know how to I don't know how to find clips on this channel because I I don't know how to twitch. It's around here somewhere. Tyson, climb you to the next floor. Do it. Can't post the link with the current, uh, current chat settings. Ah, uh, dang it. Uh, how do I? Okay. Oh, that's not gonna help. That's only if I want to ban someone. I don't know how to uh, uh, manage Twitch chat. Sorry. Told ya, I don't know how to stream. Private message to a mod. Uh, I think we have two mods on at the moment. The mod can check it and post it. Hey, there we go. Rito's gotcha. Inferno? Hmm, I don't think I need that. I also don't think I need Impolate, honestly. 30 damage to the frontliner for two energy. It's not awful, I guess, but it's not incredible either. Have you checked out Nowhere Profit? Yes, I have. I didn't particularly enjoy it myself. That said, I checked out Nowhere Profit like long before it came out, so it's completely different. Thank you for the sub to Rito Rhapsody. <laughs> no problem, Chopper. Branding right seems like a good pick. Really, it's piercing and does five damage to apply 12 armor for uh, two energy. So like I can play it on the Hornbreaker once. I can play it on the Steelbreaker once, unless I start using Restores as well. And a hard pass on these as well. <laughs> More than awesome. Thank you, for, <laughs> thank you for gifting a tier one sub to Chopper HD. Chopper HD, welcome to the Republic as well as the Retro Nation. Hopefully you've been in. Ah, damn it! I told you. Sometimes I accidentally start with the intro, uh, the outro. Hopefully, uh, no, hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves as also the outro. Welcome to the Republic, enjoy your moments in chat, and, uh, it's the other way around! It's, uh, enjoy your moments in chat, and welcome to the Republic. That's why, that's why it was a problem. Is Rito Australian too? No, Rito is North American. I kind of want the 20 pyre health and the money and then the forge spells. Tell us something weird about you. I mean, like the things, to me, everything about me seems normal. Well, not normal, obviously. Like I know that, I know there are things about me that aren't. But like, to me that I, it's, it's hard for me to think of them as weird because I've lived with them for that many years. Weird facts about me, I sing popular songs to my cat, but reword everything so it's about the cat life instead of people life. Uh, I don't have a cat, so I, I can't say that. I don't know. Like, I, I can only think of things that are like, uh, like hobbies. What's what something else, uh, someone else thinks is weird about you? 
I mean, maybe that I do this as 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 work is like probably what other people find weird because most of my friends are like you know real people. <laughs> Oh yeah, okay. I mean, like a weird thing about me might be the the you know the the stalk and counter stalk, and that's how I met my partner. What do you think of auto chess games? I like them. I dig them. Spell with holdover. Holdover on glimmer. Have it every round. No, holdover on petty theft. Okay, holdover on petty theft, and then upgrade it to deal more damage. Oh, but if I upgrade it to do more damage, it's fine, it's fine, I'm still gonna do it. I don't know, if I think of a super weird thing... No. No? Kind of stock standard around here. But yeah, like they wouldn't leap out to me immediately as weird because, you know, it's it's a, a frog in the pot boiling situation, right? I, I don't recognize it at the time. I'm probably going to glimmer this bo uh, bottom line, actually. Get him. And throw out the fledgling. Go. Train steward, hornbreaker behind. I don't get to use my ritual to battle here, but that's okay. I'm gonna burn out the spike of the hellhorn early as well, though. Just don't want it to cycle back around. I'm not disrespecting it, just saying it's. <laughs> it is scale for weird, it's probably tilted. Yeah. I would definitely agree with that. Defense six damage to the front line and basically for free there. And start throwing away train stewards on the bottom line, that's okay. We keep saying you're yeah, from this weird made up place. What was again? Straw, yeah? No, 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 it's the, uh, the Republic. The Republic. I can see how you got confused. The letters are right next to one another. else needs to be done now. <laughs> Professor IP Freely says something weird about me. I tested the frog in, a pot, uh, frog in a pot thing. What were your conclusions? I'm pretty sure, th doesn't it not work? That's what I heard. F another 50 gold, thank you. Um, The Republic or Rapublic? Rapublic. Of course, the Rapublic. Are you sub racing anyone? Uh, no, not really. I'm sub racing myself, I guess? My only goal is to be better than I was yesterday. That's it. I don't really care that much for competition. I love that I'm getting the petty theft every single turn, by the way, just racking up goals. Perfect. And this is totally okay. Do you like musicals? You love them. The Hamilton and Hades Town were the last two that I'm super crazy about. Gotta give the energy here. Dark deal is ridiculous. How are we gonna counter? Hmm. How are we gonna counter the damage? We don't have that much healing in the deck. We'll find a way. It's worth it, definitely. 
the Hamilton stands, same. I, uh, I'm pretty sure I could probably perform the music, uh, the musical sung through from start to end, like all lyrics. You doing custom challenges after this run? No, I do the, uh, the Hellhorns, the Awoken, the daily challenge, and then a custom challenge. Is the kind of standard format for the extreme so far. So many artifacts. Yeah, so many artifacts. Summon abilities trigger an additional time. Gain five energy on the first turn of battle. Five energy on the first turn of battle doesn't really matter that much. I mean, it can. Spike of the Hellhorn, Ritual of the Battle can be in the opening hand, as well as like a Glimmer or like a Petty Theft. But Ash is the Fallen, obviously. Double the effects of these fledgling amps. I'll take the improved firebox. It's fine. I have the money. I am not warmed up to suddenly start singing on stream though. So. It's alright. <laughs> they do they are gonna come to they were gonna come to Sydney this year? Next year? 2020, I think it was. Maybe 2021. I hope those plans don't get necessarily waylaid by the apocalypse. Rich split mask? I mean, yeah, I'll take it anyway. You're right, I have the money. Which country have you been to so far and where do you want to go to at some point? Uh, I have been to exactly one country so far. Uh, well, outside of my own, and that was Indonesia. I would like to go to Japan. I would also really, really, really like to go like any of the Scandinavian nations, like Thanos Scandia, like broadly. Do you play any instrument? Just the voice and a little bit of guitar, but I'm bad. <laughs> you been to Indonesia? Uh, Indonesia where? Uh, Denpasar in Bali. <laughs> Favorite song for me for musical? Uh, from. Hmm. See, that's hard. It depends on the mood. I don't necessarily think I have like a far and away favorite from, from Hamilton at least from Hades Town. Probably. Probably chant too. I mean, I love the cabinet battles in, in Hamilton, but like, they're not like always the mood, you know? Is New Zealand a destination? No, I, I would love to go to New Zealand as well. Absolutely would love to. Put units on each floor to start with. There'll be these dark wings, so three mana, uh, three mana, three attack, three health, and they deal five damage to the front enemy unit when they die. That's a lot of extra damage to take. No. Have you been to the USA? Uh, is the USA in Indonesia? I don't mean to... I don't mean to be rude, but like... Is it? No? Uh, probably not then. We could be annex was fleet. Sure, we're just gonna need to build up everyone else's military a whole lot for that to work. Imagine this a hidden feature cat merchant with a small black spot in his face anyway. You can click it and clean it and you get a free reroll and discount on items. Um things like that are like they're they're fun gimmicks for like a very short period of time, and then after that it's like, yeah, I gotta click the face of the cat again. Theft you. Oh, I also really, really, really loved. Um, well, I'd, I've always enjoyed how to succeed in business without really, uh, without even trying, without really trying, without even trying, how to succeed in business without even trying, without really trying. God, is it really or even? Um, and uh, the um. God, uh, how to get away with, uh, uh, it's not how to get away with my, it's, um, oh my god, am I actually gonna remember the, uh, it's, it's, 
It, it's a guy trying to ascend his uh, his line of succession by killing everyone in front of him. The dice with to the family name. He's a... Um... Oh my god. Gentleman's Guide to Love and Murder. Thank you. Thank you more than awesome. Oh my god. Like every other day I will sing Poison in my pocket, but somehow I forgot the name of it for a moment. Oh, feels bad. Do you like animated cards uh, in SCS, like in here? It's not a huge thing for me. I wouldn't turn him down, but it's not like a huge thing I mind. So you're saying you're going to start singing for us right now, right? Not right now, but at some point I will end up doing, inevitably, a singing stream. So I'm losing that floor now. Yeah, I think I'm losing that floor now. Okay. I've got to start killing the things on the bottom floors. Right. I mean, I can go in the front line. Takes the seven, three, three, and then I get to hit back. Well, I mean, I'll drop the fledgling imp here at the very least. And then I get the horned warrior to survive and deal a bunch of damage to the Darkwing. I mean, I could alloy the ancients, my horned warrior, try and keep them around. Would you change in this game if you had a chance? Uh, I, I, I will need like another couple hundred hours in this game before I have an answer to that. If I ever come up with an answer to that, of course. Not guaranteed to. Petty theft has paid dividends. Yeah, it's doing real well. I think I'm just gonna glimmer to exit this, uh, empty this floor. I lose my own minion. Yeah, that's completely fine. I'm okay with it. Any theft you. This Wiltwing stays around for an extra round, so we'll kill it next round. Another dark deal on that backliner. Yeah, we've got all the damage there that we basically need. Throw out petty thefts here. And you know what? I'll also throw out these two train stewards, I think. Yeah, if they get sacrificed, that's completely okay with me. Petty theft in the thin deck is nasty. It's not that. I have holdover. So it returns to my next hand if it's played. I also upgraded it with the chaotic power stone, giving it plus 10 damage and plus one energy in its cost. But I'll just get it always. What was your job before YouTube and Twitch? Uh, I was a customer service representative at a big box chain store. Um, I have purposely always avoided naming the store because management was complete, absolute garbage. You can, like, routinely would violate the terms of our contract to dangerous. They took advantage of me because I was like a young worker, basically. It like I have nothing but contempt for that company, but I still. Don't want to get sued. Regardless of how likely that is, I just, I'm playing it safe. Should've killed the front line. Uh, no, if I killed the front liner, I still would've killed the back liner there anyway. Like a Walmart or something? Like one, yeah. There's no Walmart in Australia, so it's not that. them or at least one others i'm pretty sure everyone knows this about this company in general so i heard the term big box um they stock like relatively large items as well i think is what it's referring to they didn't refer to themselves as that i think that's i was trying to use that as a way to like bridge the gap for americans there you go. Um, don't need any of those. Closest would be Battering Ram, but with the Hornbreaker growing as quickly as it's possible, it's fine. It refers to the shape of the building. Okay, still works then. I don't think I need any of these. 
Did young you know that fact? That they were trash? I kind of did. Uh, quick. Of course for the champion. Yeah, I kind of knew. But at the same rate, they needed money. <laughs> you know, it's, it's the stranglehold they've got you in. I would uh, rather eat than avoid a, a place that I know has not necessarily a great reputation. But also, like, depending on the uh, depending on the department you were in and depending on which store you were in, you could have vastly different experiences. Mine just turned out to be really, really bad. And also, like, I can be quite naive and, uh, and quite trusting. And uh, it took right up until I quit before I realized, oh, yeah, they don't care a lick about me at all. Not even slightly. They will pump me dry of all of the labor I will produce for them and then throw my corpse away. Horned Warrior with another multi-strike is pretty ridiculous. Glad you get to do something you like now. So am I, Riddell. Like, I had the, the savings that I built up in that uh, in that job lasted exactly until the week that Slave the Spire took off on YouTube. And then started, like, I started being able to actually make my way doing this. Wing clippings, yay or nay? Uh, how many consumes do I even have? I have one in the Spike the Hellhorn and one in Wildwood Tome. I don't really want Wildwood Tome to be increased. Nothing makes someone more socialist communist than having to live in a neoliberal environment. Exactly. Oh, yo, if you haven't seen it, by the way, Carlos Mars's most recent video about uh, coronavirus and the American death cult is uh, is very, very, very good. Highly recommend it. If you're not familiar with Carlos Maza, he was the strike through pr uh, producer? Strike through performer. I, I think he was one of the producers and the performer, obviously. What feels bad is there are so many stories like yours, but their YouTube and channels, uh, YouTube and Twitch channels didn't take off. Exactly. Well, I mean, to be fair, I wasn't doing it because I was like, oh, this might end up paying dividends. I did it because at that point I'd been doing it for four years already. Uh, I, I was doing it just because it was a hobby. It's just that was the week that I was going to have to start looking for another job. Speak awake? I don't know. This is, this is... <laughs> I wake up quite early in the morning, so it's 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 it's, it's fine. We'll wait. I think I need either of these to be entirely honest. That's not to discount your efforts. No, no, no. I'm, I'm not. I'm not saying that that that's discounting my efforts. I'm I'm saying that like uh, it doing it with the plan to suddenly uh, have that become your job is not the way that I did it. I was just doing it normally. You did videos in high school, right? No, I started in 2014 and I graduated in 2011. You should sing for an intro to one of your videos. I, I have done that in the past, just not recently. The time is in Republic, uh, 9.08 AM. You know what? Yeah, I'm just gonna take both of these. Whatever, whatever. I'll have money later on as well. And I won't need money later on, so never mind. it's fine. Upgrade the champion. I would love if I could have gotten the Alma gain here. Silly, thank you very much for the gift for tier one sub to Galaxy Wolf. Galaxy Wolf, enjoy your modes in chat and welcome to the Republic. Um, no. I mean, they're, they're root split to the top line for an extra turn, but I also have a bunch of rage buffs. Yeah, so it's the extra multi-strike here. Nah. Oh wait, I haven't even checked the other artifacts? Eh. Deal one damage whenever an enemy unit moves between floors. Can someone spell the name of the American Death Cult video? Um, I'll give you the name of the producer who made it. And then if you look at their YouTube channel, you'll just immediately find it at the top there. Take jack strips. And remove a train steward. I mean, the train steward still like cycle themselves out of the deck if I play them. Mm. 
Mm. Because I have the the petty thefts, I'll remove the torch there. What got you into doing YouTube? Was it someone or something that happened? Um, it was more just that I, I saw or started to see creators who had the kind of, uh, who were building the kind of communities and, you know, uh, performing the kind of humor that I was more interested in. Like, I saw that it could be more than just, you know, yelling too much at horror games or like th there's more that could be done with this you could be you know kind of mature a little bit wry a little bit dry a little bit um a little bit sarcastic a little bit wholesome try and build like a good community but, like i saw that you can start doing those things and i was like oh okay now i'm actually interested in doing this oh sack a train worker down there Eris, long time you were on uh, YouTube. Love the content. Thanks for making the quarantine a little bit more bearable. We'll prime sub when I'm not on mobile. Can't figure it out on the app. Yeah, it's, those those are hard to manage, I've heard. But thank you for the kind words, one Grody Brody. Much appreciated. How come you don't put the imp out at front? Uh, because the steel worker is the one that will consistently gain itself. Like, the imp dying in the front line is, is... Well, I mean, it's my only... Yeah, I should put the first imp out in front. And then the... Th Third imp. Well, actually, I'm doing two different lines. Yeah, so the first imp goes out in front, and then the second one goes in the middle, and then the second one goes in the middle on the next line. Because uh, the imps themselves, with such low HP, but they don't lose that rage, they're actually a useful attacking unit, so I don't want to lose them early. Why this name? What's the story behind it? Uh, I, I was getting around to it, Galaxy Wolf. Don't have to ask the same question three times. Um, it's... A story I've told before, but effectively the TLDR version is that uh, take the first letter and last letter of the full name as it used to exist, uh, Rhapsody Assassin. First letter, last letter of each word. Hey, Hi Train! Thank you, Heraldi Feed, for the Twitch Prime subscription, and Demo IB for the Twitch Prime subscription. Enjoy your and chat, and welcome to the Republic. Thank you, Conductors of the Hype Train. Sacrifice another train steward. Okay, we got this. Rhapsody Assassin, Barbarian. I mean, most of the characters I've played have either been Barbarians uh, uh, or, well, Berserker Barbarians kind of situation. Uh, or Bards. So yeah, no, it kind of does work like that. Also, Carlson, thank you very much for the uh, 100 bits. Much appreciated. Choo-choo is the message. All right. Ritual Abadalum. Alloy of Armorum. Ooh, the Alloy of Armor discarded. Yeah. Okay, the uh, the wing clippings were good just for the Alloy of Armor being discarded. That's good enough. Alright. Ritual him again. Sure to darkly deal. Uh, I'm gonna tire some climb you just to deal some damage to you. Yeah, 30 damage this round. It's not that much, but it's you know, more than nothing. Alter Ego, thank you very much for the gift of a tier one sub to one Brody Brody, one Brody Brody, and Joey Motes in chat, and welcome to the Republic. As well as more than awesome, thank you very much for the 200 bits. Says disregard bits, acquire hype train emote. How does how do hype trains work? I don't, I, I am, I am don't know. Did you see the developers post a video with one of the other classes? Yeah, I'm, I'm specifically avoiding watching it though. I want to get my hands on it first. as well as that could have gone. If enough people donate in a short time, a hype train starts. 
And it appears to continue as well. JSM, thank you very much for the uh, the 100 bits. Don't really understand the hype train. Choo-choo, I guess. You and I both, JSM. And Raging, thank you very much for the 5 bits. Just trying to help the train. And as well to Riddell22, thank you very much for the gift of uh, 5 subs. 5 tier 1 subs to the community. Uh, Zen Sh uh, Zero Shiro, sorry. Uh, ZSQ21 Wax1. Aberan. Agent Dark Rain and Alara1984. Welcome to the Republic, each of you. Enjoy your moments in chat. Kilbra, thank you very much for the Twitch Prime subscription, as well as uh, Maxwell. Thank you very much for the meaning of life bit donation there. Chew and or chew is a related message. Sincerely appreciated, y'all. It's a dark deal. What a ritual of battle as well. I mean, I can tie some climb you and then tie some climb you next round as well. And in fact, I think I should. Because I can't. No, I can't ascend you to the boss area, right? And it's fine. We're too powerful for anything really to matter at this point anyway. Carlson, thank you very much for the uh, another hundred bits. Says Chugga Chugga. Whoa! Okay. So if you ascend it, it freezes the top and then moves down? It's possible to gain emotes by donating to Oh, okay. Okay. So I understand the, the incentivization feature. I can't move it up! What? Okay, well, it's it's here now. Just a uh, ritual of battle. Dark deal. You know I gotta use a petty theft here as well. And then watch Can you do non-spike on Awakened if possible? I've done non-spike on Awakened. I've done a sting build. I've done multi-strike rage builds. I've done enhanced builds. Spike just happens to oftentimes be the build that's easiest to go into. Of course, like... As soon as you want, uh, run into a, uh, a Seraph that will purge your buffs and debuffs, you can't run a spike build anymore. But you also can't uh, run a regen build at that point. Not bad. Three of them picked up their golden frames. 